well good morning everyone um i hope you enjoyed our beach video um it's really good fun dogs are really well behaved um yeah and they were wrecked after that as well which is even lovely because it was so peaceful um and we had rubbish weather yesterday too so it was good that they'd had a good like release of energy um yeah so it's tuesday today which means I've got a ring craft tomorrow with aria um and yeah i got covid jab thursday because for some reason i thought it was wednesday i don't know but i think wednesday sticks to my brain a little bit because that's like every time it's a wednesday Disney's like another week, full week into a pregnancy. Oh, yeah, anyway, I am. Whoa, you are a tit, dads. You just run into Aria, you did. I saw ya. Yeah. yeah, you all know that I got treats. You've all got dads. Sit. No, nope, nobody's having one unless they sit and stay. Nobody. Sit. Dads, stop creeping. Go back. Sit. Dads. Thank you. Let me snap it because Nala's fat. I can't snap it. You didn't have much breakfast anyway, Dads. Oh, my finger is a bed today. Sit, Jude. Judith, sit. Yeah. Good oh boy, pod. Sit. Girl. Speak. Speak, dads. Speak. Speak, dads. For some reason, they always want to jump on him when he's excited to speak. There you go. See, he's telling them off now. That mouth bite is him turning them off. Speak, dads. Woof. Woof. Podrick. No. No. That was annoying because he jumped up and he actually knocked some of the treats out of the, my pocket. So he kind of got rewarded for that. It's annoying. Oh, stressful life. Oh. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to take Aria to Abaday Park, it's just a bit of socialisation training and then I may go somewhere else afterwards, what I might do is like put a couple of dogs in the boot and Aria on the back seat and then take her for 20 minutes on her own in Abaday Park and then go somewhere else then with more of the dogs um yeah she just needs time like on her own and i think what i've decided as well is the thing that unsettles her the most is other dogs barking and i think the reason is like you know you see my dogs a lot they only really bark for a reason you know they don't run around like now barking just because they can they only bark because something's going on um and i think that's why it's unsettling her because like she's somewhere new new environment strange dogs and they're barking and she's like what's going on what's going on what's going on so um yeah i think that's and it was echoing in that ring craft hall as well and she's so much better in puppy class so yeah she'll get there it's just i think it's a uh, lockdown puppy syndrome so to speak and some avoid it some don't and i think pods avoided it because pods just missed the cool um yeah let's have a look at disney how are you barely looking Des? quite chunky isn't it isn't quite chunky yeah be two weeks tomorrow till puppies 
sit. Dad, sit. Lily, sit. Sit, Aria. Sit. Dudley, sit. Oh, yeah, you fall over if you jump up for treats. Sit, good boy. Sit, Dad. You can hold a sit. Look, like you did it. Now look back. Oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. Speak. Woof. Podrick. Woof. Yeah, jumping up for treats is something that um, the puppies can pack it in. I hate dogs that jump up anyway. Like, I find it really annoying because they'll, sod's law, they'll do it when you're in clean clothes and you're meant to be going somewhere. Yeah, like when you just up here, it doesn't really matter. Um, and like Lily and Disney do it to like strangers, but they never do it to me. But they do, the reason they do it to strangers is because no matter how many times I tell the liveries, don't let them do it, they do it, they let them do it. And then the dogs think it's acceptable then, and it's not. The only one that really jumps up at me is Judith, but that's part of the training we've done. And then the other two are Aria and Pod, just because they're puppies and they're still learning. Jumping up for treats isn't appropriate. Jude, is your name Jude? Carl, Carl. See how she's jumping and I'm just walking and I'm ignoring her. Stand, yes, yes. So we're teaching her to stand unaided. Yes, yes. Good girl, Jude. Well done, well done. Aria's like, I can do it, Mum. I can do it. So yeah, that's working towards her. I think it's her advanced title if she can do that. But that's how it's all building blocks. But yeah, the first thing you did was teach her to jump up on your arm and use your arm for support. Well, that now means it's like acceptable to jump up. Or in her mind it does. Careful, you lot. Aria Podrick, enough. Yes, you get all excited. Trouble is as well, is like, even though they were tired yesterday, because of the weather, they had a quiet day and now they got energy. Ay, ay, ay. Yes. I hate gravy bones because they like get sticky. You know, like once you've given them a few and you've got like a little bit of dog slobber mixed in, they get sticky. She's a nice little mover, my stinker tinker is. Podrick. I am very disappointed, Podrick. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Mum. Buddy, are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Ah, oh, he's a good boy. Going to be a lovely boy. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful girl, Jude. Like these, they kind of know the drill. Even Diz does. It does. <laughs> the puppies, they need to learn to get in line. Oh, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe I'll film a little bit of what we do in Aberdeen Park. Maybe I won't. Um, maybe I'll film some of the walk that we go on. Um, but yeah, maybe. You guys looking nice. You're going to be a good girl, are you? Oh, pods after birds. <laughs> Nala, where are the birdies? This is normally Nala's favourite game. But Mummy's got treats. So Nala's not doing anything when Mummy's got treats. So, yeah. I'll give you more treats if you run after birdies and you lost a bit of weight. We went out on the quad yesterday. We got soaked, didn't we, Nunu? No, no. We got soaked. Yeah, anyway, um, I'll leave this here um, and I shall see you all soon. Bye.